Hello friends, it's Sujit Vag, you are watching Wikinote channel. Welcome to the Triple E question answer video tutorial series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the question. In this video, we are going to discuss about the question. In this video, we are going to discuss about the question. A 6 pole 50 hertz 3 phase induction motor runs at 6, 960 rpm when the torque on the shaft is 200 newton meter. If the stator losses are 1500 watt and friction and windage losses are 500 watt, then find the rotor copper loss and efficiency of the motor. This question was asked in May 2018 exam for 7 marks. So most of the times this kind of numericals are asked. So uh, how to solve this kind of numericals? I'm going to explain that trick over here. So watch this video till the end. So let's start. So my dear friends, before solving the solution of this kind of numerical, first of all, you should know about the given things. What are given? So first of all, as mentioned, it is a three phase induction motor. So according to me, that is the main important point which is given. So if you able to read this, sorry. So what are the given things? So first of all, this is a three phase induction motor. I will write it in short. So what are the given things? P is equal to six. That is number of folds are six. The supply frequency at which it is operating is 50 Hertz. Then it runs at 960 RPM. That means your motor is running at 960 RPM. That means the rotor speed NR is given and which is 960 RPM. And the torque on the shaft is given. So that is T shaft is equal to 200 Newton meter. If the stator losses are, stator losses are denoted by PCS and that is 1500 Watt. Next, the friction and windage losses are also given and which is nothing but I will denote it by windage and friction losses PWF which is 500 Watt. And what they have asked to find out? The rotor copper loss that is PCR they have asked and the efficiency of the motor. So will go for the solving this kind of numerical now how to so how to solve this kind of numerical the question is uh, how to deal with this kind of question so first of all you should know the flow diagram power flow diagram of induction motor see here for induction motor we know that we have to provide a three phase ac supply that is ryb to the stator winding so we are providing some power it is denoted by pi or it is also denoted by P1 in some of the books. Then stator winding provides the rotating magnetic flux and that rotating magnetic flux couples the power to the rotor through the air gap. So rotor, I will draw here the rotor. So the power output of stator is P2 and that power gets delivered to the rotor. But whatever input power is taken by stator is not completely given to the rotor because there are some losses across the stator and those losses are called as stator losses i will define it i will draw the block and these are the stator losses so here some iron losses and copper losses takes place so that is termed as stator losses and denoted by pcs in the rotor some losses are also going to take place and that those losses are called as rotor losses and rotor losses are defined as PCR. So now the power which is developed by rotor is delivered to the shaft. But again, as shaft is coupled with this is shaft shaft is coupled with the rotor through some bearings and losses. Uh, bearings so there are some losses which takes place over here and those losses are called as mecha mechanical losses that is windage and frictional losses wf so some losses also takes place while delivering that power to the shaft the power generated by rotor is denoted by pm that is gross power developed by the rotor so input to the rotor is p2 and output of the rotor is pm and the power which is developed at shaft is denoted as P out. So this is 
the flow diagram power flow diagram for the three phase induction motor now we'll go for the solving this kind of numerical so if you realize if you come to know about this kind of if you understand this diagram then your numerical part is very much simple so this kind of diagram you should by heart okay so now what is given to us that is p out p shaft that is 200 200 newton meter which we have already written over here so what is your start how to solve this kind of numerical so first of all you have to perform some calculation and that is related with synchronous speed ns and that synchronous speed is given by the formula 120 into fs divided by number of poles so what is this synchronous speed it is nothing but the speed of rotating magnetic flux generated by stator note down here i have drawn the size of stator is bigger as compared to the rotor because rotor is present inside the stator so take care of drawing while drawing this kind of diagram so 120 into fs so 120 multiplied by supply frequency is fs which is 50 divided by number of poles are given which is 6 and it comes around 1000 so that is the synchronous speed of rotating magnetic field generated by and it is always given in terms of rpm next you have to find out the sleep so sleep formula for the sleep why sleep because there is always a relative speed between the rotating magnetic field and the rotating rota so it is given by ns minus nr divided by ns and it comes around 1000 minus nr is given that is 960 divided by 1000 and it comes around 0 0.04 so that is the sleep okay now you have calculated slip and ns see as output power that is shaft power is given 200 newton meter and it is the torque which is given to so i will call this as a tsh that is torque present at the shaft now we'll go for the solving we have calculated the synchronous speed and the slip you will get the one mark each for these two values then we'll go for the solving the p out so how to calculate p out and p out is given by the formula torque which is present at the shaft multiplied by the rotating speed that is angular speed of your rota 2SH is given 200 and formula for angular speed of your rota is 2 pi into nr divided by 60 see here my dear students most of the time student gets confused what here we have to take nr or ns see this is a output power that means this output power is present on the shaft and shaft is coupled onto the rotor so keep in mind whatever the speed of rotor at the speed at which rotor is moving at the same speed your shaft is going to be rotated so here don't take the synchronous speed if you are taking that value then it will be wrong so p out comes to be 200 2 pi nr nr value is 960 divided by 60 and it comes around 20106 watts so i will write down this and this one mark this one mark and this will also give you the one mark next as i have called calculated the p out I have to calculate the PM. So obviously, PM plus windage and frictional losses will give rise to. Sorry. See, P out is the output power. So P out is equal to we can write is equal to PM minus the windage and frictional losses PWF. So whatever losses which are taking across the mechanical losses so that power gets dissipated. So here I don't know about PM but I, do, I know about PWF which is given 500 watt. So if I have to calculate the gross mechanical power PM then I will write P out plus P frictional plus windage losses and it comes around to be 500 watt. So I will just add that part and here I will get the value. 
so p out i know 20106 plus pwf is 500 and it comes around 20606 watt now i will go for the solving of next that is pcr rotor losses and we know the relation pcr is given by the s times slip times the input power p2 okay so now but shall i uh, do do i know p2 no i know pcr no i just know about the 0.04 that is the slip so i know the another relation to so that is see here in this in the above diagram you can see the pm is equal to p2 that is input power minus pcr see here p2 is the input power to the rotor p2 is the input power some losses are taking place and we are getting the output power that is mechanical power pm so i am writing here so here i can also replace this pcr by sp2 and so i will get p2 minus s times p2 and here i will get p2 in bracket 1 minus s so my formula will be pm is equal to p2 in bracket 1 minus s so do i know pm yes which i have calculated over here do i know slip yes so can i find out p2 yes definitely so to find out the p2 i can go here so i will just change the color so here i can find out the p2 is equal to pm divided by 1 minus s and here pm is already given uh, we have found out we 20606 divided by 1 minus and slip value is 0.04 which is we have calculated earlier and this p2 comes around to be 21464.5 5.8 watts okay so this is my p2 now that is the output of stator and input to the rotor into 5.8 watt i will just square this answer hmm. okay now what i have to find out i got the p2 i have to find out pcr and what is formula for calculating the pcr that is rotor copper losses and which is asked in the numerical so this pcr is equal to s times p2 so i will write that pcr is equal to that is rotor copper losses is equal to slip times slip times the p2 so slip is 0.04 multiplied by 21464.58 and it comes around to be 2.5 0.58 watt so that is my rotor losses rotor losses rot copper rotor losses that is pcr now i have to find out the pi that is input power or i will call it as a p1 now how to find out this p1 look at the diagram once again so you know the p2 but i don't know about p1 what is input power but i know the stator losses so whatever the output of the stator that is p2 p2 is equal to pi minus stator losses so i can find out that and i can write here that p2 is equal to p in that is input power minus to the stator losses pcs and p in is we have calculate we have to find out the p in so p in is equal to p2 plus pcs and what is p2 now p2 is given uh, we have found out and p2 is 21464.58 plus pcs is given that is 1500 watt and it comes around 22964.58 watts so that is my input power now so i will just square bracket this so this is input power so i have to find out the efficiency and motor efficiency is asked see in the numerical efficiency of the motor is asked so efficiency of the motor that means you have to deal with the efficiency of the motor not of the rotor 
so i will go for solving efficiency and the formula for efficiency <coughs> i'm not having that much space now but as formula is simple efficiency is equal to output power to the input power p in multiplied by 100% and output power we go, we have found out that output power see here this is the output power 20106 and the input power which we have right now found out here at the bottom so p out 20106 divided by p in is 22964.58 into 100% and it comes 87.5% so that will be the efficiency of your motor okay so this will carry you one mark one mark here rotor copper losses one mark three one mark here four then one mark here five this is six and yes I'll, there is little bit confusion in the marking scheme uh, so ns and slip will you have to give only one mark so this total numerical will carry seven marks so now see here always keep in mind if you have to check whether your answer is correct or not input power is always greater than the p2 mechanical so p2 power is always greater than the mechanical power mechanical power is always greater than the output power so whatever you are delivering input to the motor you will get a lesser output thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos please like and share this video with your friends Also refer my website wikinote.org follow us on our facebook page wikinote foundation the links for the same are provided in the description box below